Hey out there people, just a video a bit on the shorter side today. I know I always say that, but then these videos end up ballooning to like 30 minutes. But today I'd just like to give you a real hard-hitting rant. James Rolfe, you know it's bullshit style, because there's something that just really gets on my nerves. A modern trend that I've noticed, I think is particularly insipid, and I'd like to kind of vent about it. So there's a 7-Eleven I go to every so often. I don't go to it too often. It's not really in my area. But every so often, if I'm taking a particular route home, I might stop by there and maybe get a Slurpee or a candy bar or a bag of chips or something. You know, just something to kind of uh, whet my appetite before I get home. You know, just kind of get me in the mood to eat and uh, hydrate me or whatever, you know. And I get that Slurpees aren't healthy, I get that shit isn't healthy, you know. I eat whatever the fuck I want because I'm a complete maniac like that. So, usually I'll get a nice big large Slurpee, uh, you know, Pac-Man cherry flavor or fucking Dr. Pepper or a big stinking frickin' limonata horchata uh, flavor explosion whatever the case may be. But there's one particular 7-Eleven, and I've never seen this system used in any other 7-Eleven, but this is just absolutely insane. They have like 20 fucking security cameras that are on display right by the front door. So you walk in, the first thing you see on the ceiling is this giant 20 panel display of security cameras just arranged around the shop like a fucking panopticon in there. You feel like you're in this prison environment right off the bat. And the next thing you see is this big security guard, privately hired of course, not, not a public servant, but a private security company. They've hired to stand by the counter and he's like, put your bag down here. So, I'm carrying my backpack in this scenario, right? Typically, when I carry my backpack, it's because it's after one of my live shows, and I've just played a shit ton of music, so I'm already exhausted from that. I really just want a nice, refreshing Slurpee so that I can get the fuck home and, and work on whatever comics or whatever for like an hour and then go immediately to sleep. So, it's a serious inconvenience to have to take this 50-pound backpack of mine off, which, mind you, holds around $500 worth of extremely valuable electronic music equipment, set it next to this fucking security guard, go, go to the Slurpee machine, and then check out, and then once I'm done, pick up my backpack, hoist it all the way up, and then leave and be like, oh, this was so cool and fun, this was great, this was a great use of my time to stop by this 7-Eleven and have to take my fucking giant-ass backpack off and then pop it on again. Yes, this is a useful transaction of energy right here. This totally makes sense. Here's the thing. Nothing about this system makes any kind of practical sense from a logistical standpoint. If you're trying to stop shoplifters, just having them take their fucking purse off or take their backpack off or whatever, it's not going to work because people have these things called pockets, which oftentimes can have a lot more capacity than you might give them credit for. I mean, heck, why not do a fucking full-body cavity search on everyone who leaves your fucking 7-Eleven? Oh, ma'am, I see you have a fucking purse there over your shoulder, and it's pretty tiny, and you probably just have, like, lip gloss and chapstick in there, maybe a mirror, but you're gonna have to leave that with me. Don't worry, I won't look through any of your intimate items. I'm just the fucking 300-pound burly security guard who stands here by the door with a stoic Clint Eastwood-esque glare. Like, for one, if you have 20 security cameras set up, and you have the security guard set up in front of the security cameras, watching them at all times, isn't that sufficient? Won't the security guard catch anyone popping a zag nut in their fucking purse or carry-all or whatever the fuck fanny pack? Won't the security guard catch that? What is even the point of having security cameras installed? This many fucking security cameras. More security cameras than I've seen anywhere else if you're also going to hire a security guard who just demands that you leave your personal belongings with him while you go to get a fucking three dollar bag of beef jerky. Like, fuck, I'd rather, honestly, just have this giant-ass security guard escort me around the store and make sure, personally, keep an eye on me that I don't steal anything while I'm in any aisle. I'd rather he just follow me around the entire experience than go through all the trouble of taking my fucking backpack off.
You know, because believe it or not, here's the thing, a lot of people, especially people who go to gas stations, aren't the type to have cars. Maybe they just walk everywhere, and maybe they carry all their shit on them in a backpack or something, and maybe it's really inconvenient to tell them to take it off, because they can't just leave it outside in the car, and if they leave it outside, it's going to get fucking stolen. Which is not to say that the 7-Eleven, this particular one, is even in that bad an area. It's not in the slums or anything. It's just on a normal-ass street. You wouldn't be able to tell it from any other 7-Eleven locally. But it's the only one that uses this extremely anal retentive system to make sure that there's no shoplifting going on. And this isn't really a problem for me, but speaking from an autistic viewpoint, the last thing you want to do to an autistic person is make them inconvenience themselves. Because if they're normal autistic, like in the middle to low end of the spectrum, then they'll just be really quiet and have a simmering resentment towards you for the rest of their lives that they'll never mention or bring up with anyone. And if they're high-functioning autistic, like me, they might freak out and get really pissed and give you the middle finger and then storm out of the place, and there you go, you've just lost a customer. I mean, if the business is going to tell me fuck you by basically insinuating prematurely that I have ulterior motives and that I'm a thief, then why wouldn't I just say, well, fuck you, and not buy from them? And this is a careful balancing act in retail between making sure that people don't steal, which of course, nine times out of ten, is not going to happen, and on the other hand, making sure that your customers don't feel like you're constantly watching over their shoulder. Even if you are, you don't want to make this surveillance immediately apparent, because that's just not psychologically appealing. That's not a good advertising campaign for anyone. What the 7-Eleven has done, in effect, is turned their convenience store into a fucking inconvenience store. Call me crazy, but I believe that in a perfect world, a fucking 7-Eleven should be the most low-pressure, casual environment possible. It's literally just a place where you go to get fucking M&Ms and a bag of chips and some bugles and some peanuts and a squirt. It's not exactly a fucking bank. That's the main reason I absolutely dread going into government offices or the DMV or the bank or all these fucking high pressure, high tactics, high stakes, fucking Ocean's Eleven style establishments because it's absolutely fucking excruciating to deal with all the bureaucracy and mundanity and bored, tired, scared, paranoid people that inhabit those establishments. When I go into a fucking 7-Eleven, I expect one guy behind the counter and he's just standing there and looking at the wings rotating and he doesn't give you any fucking trouble and he just gives you your change and then you get the fuck out of there. That's what I expect out of a 7-Eleven. There are a lot of other cases I could recite of a similar nature. For instance, when I was up in Netherland, back when I was, yeah, shooting my music video for Don't Have a Ticket, one of my songs, it so happens that I went into the Netherland grocery store, the Netherland supermarket, and I was just browsing around the produce section for like 20 minutes, nobody bothering me. I was just minding my own fucking business, and of course, I had my backpack on me with camera equipment, food, a little novel I was reading, you know, innocuous shit, right? So then this bitchy clerk comes up to me and she's like, you don't get to have a backpack in here, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to leave the store and put that outside by the front where anyone can fucking rip it off and then come back in here. So I was like, no, fuck it, I'm not going to buy anything from here. Goodbye. And then I just fucking left. Because believe it or not, when you have that sort of approach to your customers, when you just assume that they're thieves because they have a backpack on, they're not going to shop at your place anymore. They're going to go elsewhere. And maybe that's not an option in Netherlands. They only have one supermarket. Actually, they do have a co-op, which is really nice. I went there afterward with my backpack on, and they didn't assume that I was going to toss some candles and beeswax and shit in there. And I bought a nice little votive candle. Props to the Netherlands co-op. They know how to be polite to their fucking clientele.
And it's not as if I was particularly afraid of someone ripping my shit off up in Nederland. That wouldn't exactly happen if I had left my backpack outside the store. But at the same time, the supermarket is at the foot of a literal mountain. It's fucking Nederland. Everyone hikes, everyone fishes, everyone fucking hunts. So you mean to tell me that an environment like that where everyone has a fucking backpack or fanny pack or something to just carry around a fucking granola bar or shit like all the fucking time that must be common up in fucking Nederland. You mean to tell me that in that type of circumstance you're still enforcing these anal retentive paranoiac urban rules that would only apply at the bare minimum in some place like Denver? I mean fuck at this point why even have stores? Just replace them all with fucking prison yards where you get followed around by guards and it's like it's like the Shawshank Redemption, you know, and, and there's like packs of cigarettes and you just like scrounge around and it's like that type of experience. Fucking barbed wire fences on aisle 15. You can't get into the deli section because it's got a sheet of glass like the type they use for you know, the, the phone the phone interrogations, family visits. Not install all that shit, you know, make your stores extra secure. Make your stores a fucking vault, you know. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. Nobody's getting that Wonka secret formula because it's just too secure. And, and everything in your store is nice and safe. Nobody buys it, you don't get any business, and you go fucking bankrupt because you're this paranoid about just normal people coming in and buying shit. But, damn, your shit's safe. All your inventory, all your stock, you won't be losing one packet of M&Ms today. No siree. So yeah, I guess this video is just kind of a message to like grocery stores and gas stations and shit. If you see someone stealing some shit on a surveillance camera or something, by all means, come down, give them a talking to, do whatever you need to legally, but don't just assume that everyone is trying to steal from you just because they have like a purse or something. It's probably just a fucking purse. It's not that big a deal. It's not that deep. Anyway, that's just a little gripe I have, a little complaint with the modern world, a little inconvenience, an inconvenient truth, if you would, about the inconvenience stores. And this seems to be kind of an escalating statistic around here in Denver. I don't know about nationwide, but god fucking damn it's annoying. And I'm definitely not going to that 7-Eleven ever again. Holy fucking shit. Anyway, if you have any similar experiences of being annoyed by gas stations or grocery stores that demand that you fucking plop all your shit down by the front door, then uh, leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts and first-hand experience with this thing is. This is a bit of a different video from me, but goddamn, I, ha I have to express my thoughts and feelings somehow, or I will literally turn into the fucking Tasmanian Devil and become a whirlwind that decimates at least three Midwestern states. But yeah, that's it for me today. Sayonara, suckers.